hi everyone this is sanjay and in this video we will continue with the entity list customization in power portal we have seen that uh, if you have not seen my old videos uh, last videos regarding uh, 10 common customizations in power portals then how to uh, create entity list then how to enable search box for the entity list if you have not watched watch now because this video is a continuation video of that series okay so uh, once you uh, so once we have created this list we can display a set of records from dynamics 365 entity on the dynamics 365 power portal form web page right and also we have seen that how we can uh, display a search box so that user can search a specific record out of this list now this time in this video we will discuss how to enable a details view form for example in this list i have just displayed four columns here case number customer case title and status but but what about other fields if i want to see more about this record then there should be a clickable view details link for every record so that user can see more information right so for that we have to do some configuration and in this video we will see that so let's get started so so we have to first go to power apps to configure something that uh, details view go to power apps and select your current environment correct environment where your enterprise applications are installed then you have to go to tables and you have to go to the entity for which you want to configure this the entity i am using is case entity because i want to display case information in a details form okay now i'll go to power apps i'll select the same i will select the entity called as case i'll go down and search for case now once you click case entity case table you have to go to forms and here you have to create a new form you can use existing form but i will show you to create a new form so that you will be uh, more clear click on main form once you click on main form the form editor window will open where i can drag and drop the required fields that i want to display to the user when someone clicks the view more option for each record right now this window is open for me and i have all the columns available in left side okay which are part of this case entity and then i can drag and drop and create the form okay so if i don't want uh, this information this other tabs then i can delete i can select and delete so you can directly click on delete So select the uh, specific option then click on delete so one by one i will delete so there are four or five tabs available so i don't want I'll click on this delete okay and summary I I don't want this timeline okay and here I want to change this layout okay so I will go here and change one column tab okay So this is one column tab and here I will drag and drop all the fields. I don't want this right I can click on hide and case relationship I can click hide. If it is not deleted you can click on hide. Now this tab is generated for me and I can give a name here more about case. Okay now once it is once you have declared this the next stage is we have to drag and drop the columns you want to display right now i will use so tab is done and this is a new section now i can 
go to fields and drag and drop the first i want to use case type okay and then it will be uh, then we we want to use uh, some more information let's say um, let me go down i can use customer next status then i can use let me click on all and i want to use created on also i can source the field created on okay if you don't uh, see any field here you can just uncheck this uh, so only on user tables then it will display everything then i want to use customer okay then let me select some more case type case type is already done case title and then case number so you can add more fields that you want to display on the details page okay you can use email address and uh, you can use the priority also case priority okay so this much okay so let's see how it works so once this form is done i will just save it okay and this is a new form so i can give a name of this form here so you can click on this form first to add more now i will save it now i will change the name here without a display name i will use something like my portal so it is refreshed one second So this form editor always takes time to load okay so once it is loaded it will work fine now i will go to here and change case portal form okay now once it is done i will again save and publish now this will treated as a main form and i can use this form within with a form control in my portal click on publish once it is published i will go straight to the portal management app if you don't know how to open a portal management app or uh, check my old video last video you can understand i am waiting for the publishing once it is published i will go here you can see the app name is portal management here i will go to entity forms this a, this entity form area is the area where you can create new entity form to display specific entity information here you have to give a name of your form okay i want to give a name as case details form and the entity i will choose the same entity case as soon as you select the entity you you are allowed to select the uh, form that you have created this is the case portal form that i have just created and once it is created i will change the mode as display read only okay because i want to display only the information uh, for that record so this is important mode is important i will discuss about more uh, uh, more modes uh, other modes in later stage now here the record source you have to choose is record source type is query string because the id of the specific record will be passed to the form so that it will display the more details now the require uh, the record id query string parameter is id keep it as id now website select the portal website called as custom portal for which you are working on click on save once you save now go straight to the power app studio and here click on sync configuration 
sync configuration is important because whatever changes or updates you do for portal management app will be synchronized with your portal studio so here click on this entity list and below you can see there is a view details option in the right side right we have already associated the view uh, to that list but now i want to enable this view details we have already enabled search in the below now we will select view details so click on this view details and the target type you will find three options form web page url i will show this web page and url later stage but this time i will show you how we can um, display a pop-up form whenever someone tries to display more information on that record click on this form now when you choose the second drop down you will see your entity form that you have created last time so click on case details form so this is the form that that i have created now once it is created selected i will click on sync configuration and i will why i am clicking sync configuration because it will save the changes on the power portal and also if any changes done in portal management app will be synchronized now i can click on browse website this is my final state stage uh, by which i can uh, view my changes now see this time there is uh, last time there was no links but now you can see the case number is having a link enabled and also there is a drop down here and the option view details you can see now once you click this view details it will display more information about that record this is the case number and this is the case title and the customer and the created on the status you can also add more uh, details more uh, fields that you want to display on this form and you can close here you can also click this uh, case number so that it will display more information now this is just a demo if you want more fields you can add it so it depends on how you design your uh, form right if you want to create uh, uh, two lines uh, two column uh, settings two column section then also you can do that right so thank you guys so i will come with uh, more features on this entity list in next videos stay tuned and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so that you can get uh, notification thank you